let's see where we are there's Chelsea Manning doing something about unions right now and we're auto hosting her and we're about to knock her out and we're knocked out Chelsea how are you doing everyone this is Chicho and welcome to another live stream and today today what is today today is February 11th 2021 and we're doing a comic book haul live stream we've been lucky we've been blessed for the last little while uh, we had our 13 books that were lost in uh, transition I guess <laughs> transportation uh, made their way finally back to us uh, after like three months from us buying it and the ship the seller getting involved and it went to the wrong place so we got those 13 comics back we did a full-blown valiant comic book haul large valiant buy we ended up buying all of bloodshot series number one series number two and we got almost all of exo series number two and shadow man series number volume number four i guess from the relaunch and a whole bunch of other valiants and whatnot first appearance of punk mumbo first we got quantum woody one two three so we got a gigantic valiant comic book haul in the previous comic book uh, haul video and today we got a little box and we got original art okay original art and we got a little box but this is an expensive lot okay what we're gonna do is uh just hold off until people show up and i'll let everyone know uh what this buy is as the notifications go out and uh while we wait for people to roll in let me tell you what this is all about and who i am and where you can find additional information i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to know what this work is about which is basically layered on mathematics and it's going to overlap with the comic books a lot and it has a little bit already but we're about to kick it up a notch okay uh, it is layered on mathematics everything's creative commons share and share alike i don't put anything behind paywalls so you can follow the work on patreon and if you think uh, this work deserves your support patreon is a fantastic way to support this project and for those of you who've been supporting this work for a long time thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this so thank you very much for that we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat when it starts popping up here which is where you want to be at and i do announce our schedules and sets and i we sort of do unscheduled live streams as well double o negative negative how are you doing chicho brother i just finished the well world series oh did you the, the how many books was that i read that series i've got to ask why didn't you like the last half of the i didn't brother we're gonna give away serious serious spoiler i didn't like the punchline in the last book the wall of souls okay i didn't like the punchline that they had this whole universe to play with but they brought it back to you know where they brought it back to right that aspect i didn't like i think they could have gone anywhere with it but they linked it up to and they, they they sort of linked it up to a consistent theme between all the alien races it, it was a beautiful series by the way don't get me wrong don't get me wrong did you like it double o negative did you like it zare how you doing just in time on a 20 minute break at work yalla <laughs> let's crack this all open <laughs> We're, zare it's a beautiful haul it's a beautiful haul just to let you know the total haul there's an original comic book page here i'll show you that first but in the box in the box it's one of the biggest hauls we've done uh it's over a month period of me buying from the seller and the total price tag of this haul was uh, 
$530 Canadian. Okay, it's a serious haul. Randall, thank you very much for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Boop. <laughs> fun lonely piggy how you doing hey chicho i hope you're doing well today doing fantastic elder god unscheduled stream well i sort of announced it yesterday so it's a mini 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 scheduled live stream are we uh take uh, take uh, talking spoilers uh, i was talking spoilers i don't know what double O negative is gonna say birdie here how are you doing double O negative there's five and uh then there's another trilogy yeah i can understand that he went to a weird direction in the end but yeah it it was incredible i couldn't put them down yeah the brother it amazing amazing but then at the end he just went out of it was out of character from the rest of the series haven't been able to catch a live stream for a while randall says well i hope you're gonna like this one randall you're gonna love this one if you like the old school comic books man got some beauties in here really got some beauties in here i was working on the seller for a month he lists twice a week and he lists like amazing stuff so i was bidding on a few different things trying to stay within budget reasonable and uh trying to make sure i get really good deals right because that's the way i built my collection i want to get there there are stuff that i've overpaid for there's no doubt about it but in general and th those are okay you just do right but in general i try to make sure my money goes as far as possible all right emily how you doing nikki hickey how are you doing hi i've been thinking of getting into music teaching in a private tutoring session style what's up awesome that'd be fantastic nikki as for me i'm doing good double o negative i would have liked some more closure with other characters in the end but i definitely read them again yeah it it, it left it left you hanging in a weird way okay chicho post note stream post note stream post note stream <laughs> okay brother the real mc mike hello hello double o negative you're right out of character and a little abrupt of the ending i would recommend at least the first one if any here haven't read yeah gang if you if you like sci-fi well of souls is amazing series uh amazing series i just hope you're not disappointed with the ending good it's just so it's it's so cold here too like it's chilly i threw i'm in the sunroom so it's really cold in the sunroom i threw this shirt into the dryer to heat it up a little bit and then put it on <laughs> oh fun fun gang i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mine's lovk gap parlor when it comes back online on twitter and we do have a discord page i'm going to go through through the speedy gonzalez because zara's got limited time so at least he's going to get a look at the original art piece okay and uh we do have a discord page you can come into our chat anytime you want on twitch and type in exclamation mark social and you'll get all the links to all the social networks including the discord page which pops up here so you can join our discord server and chit chat for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio as podcast to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to bit shoot and to rumble we don't have enough points to load it to odyssey okay so this live stream will go on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing commenting and all that jazz and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership Boop button here okay and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support as well as the gang who's on twitch following liking subscribing uh using um, the bits and whatnot and of course patreon gang let's get into the comic book live stream let's crack this baby open let's crack this baby open negative two and here i think it's around that mine is eight or something chili chili case man how you doing 80 fahrenheit wow wow here we can uh, split the difference haha <laughs> dragons dragons how you doing <laughs> 80 fahrenheit what's 80 fahrenheit 32 is zero so 80 what would that be that's gotta be i don't know what 80 fahrenheit is man what's 80 fahrenheit in celsius the formula is i forget what the formula is my guess would be around 20 27 damn 27 degrees celsius <laughs> case man sent some of the heat over here man it's negative 12 here in uh, Krakow. wow wow negative 18 celsius in sweden the 
<laughs> Gang, let me show you this one. Uh, this is from a local seller. Okay, and we bought from this local seller. He started selling again on eBay a little bit. This is an original art piece. Let me show you what this is from. And I have, I do have little, uh, what do you call it? Little original art folders. This piece is Punisher, a page from Punisher number 44, okay, from 1991. And the issue number is uh, minus 11 in England, minus 10 in the Netherlands, oh, minus 20. Nikki, you're, uh, uh, you're six degrees colder than Rendell in Sweden. So you're further up north or close to the mountains. Brr, minus 24. Damn, I'm getting chilly again. Where's <laughs> to put my hands on the heat <laughs> and the, on the lamps? Gang, this original piece is page 14 from this comic book right here. Okay. It's Punisher number 44. Okay. Star Spangled Burner. It's a American flag burning comic book. I don't know if I have this in my collection, but I should be getting it. I will get it. Okay. And it's page number 14. It's this page right here. Okay. And uh, the artist for this, and I'm going to show it to you. The artist for this is Neil Hansen. And I hadn't heard of Neil Hansen. I didn't know who this was. Okay. And um, I looked him up and he hasn't done, he didn't do too much work in comic books. So um, he, he doesn't have too many comic books under his name. So I'm assuming he got into comic books. I think he, re he got into comic books and he moved on to another field or something like this. G Liftonoid, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Graham, how's life? Whoop, whoops. Somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle between negative 24 and 27 degrees celsius where i am is minus three jacoby minus three yeah that's around where well we're about minus five or six or seven or eight or something minus 26 for me mc mike damn where's the australian crowd with their plus oh well i guess uh randall randall australia graham chicho i mean things were better about 30 hours oh brother you the message you posted on discord man crazy check this out and i ended up paying 32 dollars canadian for this okay which is a pretty damn good price take a look so pencil and inks with the lettering on there of course right so this is what it looks like penciled right ink at 32 dollars canadian <laughs> he actually had four pages in a row and i got outbid on the rest of them i go with my budget you know they didn't go for much higher but this was the cheapest one so i got the low ball in and this is what it looks like colored right page 40 here let me hold this up so you see the comparison right so here it is and that's colored right fantastic nice what's that smell cut <laughs> original art baby <laughs> cancel culture so it's a steal 32 dollars canadian for punisher um issue number 44 page 14 from 1991 uh i did crack It's from this issue, the flag burning issue from Punisher. It's from this issue. Punisher, uh, oh yeah, this is at the back. Punisher number 44 from 1991. Okay. Nice buy crack. Yeah, nice buy. Nice buy. So I'm gonna put this in here. I just picked this up yesterday. I was waiting for this uh, so I could go pick it up. That way I could do the comic book haul. Uh, paper it's on um, it's like comic book paper they actually a lot of the work they put out is on this like this is 99 percent of the comic books out there uh, the artwork is f on this okay especially the major publishing houses right no nope, i mean it's upsetting but i think it may 
But yeah, yeah, fantastic. This guy. Let me show you this guy. This guy. You just got a paper cut looking at it. Oh my god. This guy. Love the traditional comic paper. Down with glare. Down with glare. Down with glare. Down with Nikki. Down with glare. Gang, this comic book haul. It took a month to get it. Okay. It took about a month to get it to do all the buys the guy was holding him holding him and with the last set of buys i said okay let's finalize the stuff have the have the book sent over right this buy uh is it cost it cost 460 470 dollars canadian the comic books sales tax because the person's in canada cost me 2350 I could have bought another comic book for that. Sales tax was twenty three fifty, and the shipping was thirty seven dollars. Right, so the comic books cost four hundred seventy dollars. Shipping and taxes came out to sixty dollars, which is pretty damn expensive. Half of that, well, twenty three fifty of that is in taxes. So total five hundred and thirty dollars for thirteen books. Okay, for 13 bucks. Majority of them, a huge chunk of them, Golden Age. There's two CC, uh, uh, CGC uh, books here, graded books. Let's crack them open. Nikki, look at what we got. Let's check it out. So here is the comic books. Right. Here's the two. Let me do this. Here's the two CGC books. No spreadsheet. Elder God, I didn't get a chance to make a spreadsheet. No, I need to make spreadsheets. I need to make spreadsheets. Let me put this guy here. Uh, they're, they're, we'll take a look. They're good buys. They're good buys. Uh, one of them I paid fair value for. Actually, let's say out of 13, probably three or four I paid fair value for. Uh, the rest of them we got a deal, man. We got a pretty good deal. Okay, <laughs> pretty sweet deal. <laughs> Let me go through this in order of the tabs I got open because um, there's a lot of info here. There's a lot of info here. That way I can close the tabs uh, on the computer. <laughs> let's check these out let's check these out I'm not going to show you what this is. It's not the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the first tab I got to open. So I want to go through them with the tabs. There's Golden Age Romance here. A few Golden Age Romance. There's Western Comics here. Let's see if this is in there. No. Let's put this guy here. There's Crime Comics here. Golden Age Crime, Golden Age Sports Comic. One indie comic that completes a collection for us. Nice, 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And there are Mylar and stuff. First comic, first comic. Let me read you. Let me hold this up so you see it. Bruce Century. Okay. Check this out. It's a. It's it's low grade, but it looks beautiful. Okay. Let me bring this closer. I'm gonna read you guys the description. This is Bruce Century, okay, uh, Gentry, 1948 published, okay. We ended up paying, and let me tell you what grade this is. This is graded, okay. It's a Canadian edition. It's a Canadian comic, Superior Publications, okay. It's graded at 3.0, and we ended up paying $38 Canadian, okay. $38 Canadian. Um, Bruce Gentry number three from 1940 uh, uh, says uh, he listed as 1949 but in the comic book my comic uh, page I'm gonna, let me give you the link for it it says 1948 okay Pshh. crack oh man this is gonna be a good haul that is such an amazing yeah yeah that's pretty good it's pretty good and this is uh stories and art by ray bailey and others ray bailey former assistant to legendary so it goes into detail of who these people are and if you look into the cgc section there's only 11 of these things which are cgc uh they have they've been graded oh hold on let me do this and According to CG, the only thing that have CGC has listed on here is Ray Bailey art and his superior comics and CGC listed as 1949 as well. And can uh, country of origin is Canada. Okay. Great haul. We ended up paying Did I say how much we paid for this. We ended up paying th yeah, $38 Canadian for this. Okay. Nice haul. Nice comic. Beautiful artwork. Look at that. Let me hold it up. See if we can do it without the glare. It's got. He's got him in mylar. Okay. Right. Nikki, Chicho, I listened to your reading of the comics code from nineteen fifty uh, uh, from fifty four and was laughing on my way home from a night shift. Now I want to know: Is there any comic book with a cover that specifically eludes all the comic codes list list of prohibited cover art elements? That would be fun. Would be amazing. I don't know if there's one that covers all of them, but I know Conan, uh, Savage Sword of Conan, had severed heads on the comics and whatnot. Hello, Captain Durr. Nice comic. Very happy to have this. And the only reason the the guy graded this at three was because the there's spine split here and here okay otherwise if the if there wasn't spine split here in the bottom this would be easily easily a 5.5 or so right those wonder woman covers yeah 79 79 con good night guys although my wife snoring next to me she shows me a smart voice makes me fly away awesome sweet dreams 79 con the folds in those clothes the folds in those clothes the detail of the characters and the facial expressions amazing right really some of the amazing artwork a complete true western just a story one way to the grave right drapey is very difficult so there's one let me show you what the next one is the next one okay we grab this one so let me close this guy Boop. next one is this guy i'm going to link this up in the chat so you guys know what it is that is beautiful yeah elder god great cover and, and very tribute to 1948 yeah golden just drawn that they were drawn very uniquely right take a look at this one was in the other one this one this one is a photo cover okay
<laughs> check out this one let me tell you how much we paid for this okay this is crestwood publishing oh yeah let me hold this up so you guys see it photo cover young love number 27 the read the brush off photo cover right nice mid-grade comic okay um young love number 27 from 1951 crestwood publishing the brush off provocative cover i don't know if this is provocative or not the guy's doing a salesman gig right and this is graded at 5.0 okay art uh by john uh, prentice bill Drott, mort meskin and george rosos okay those are the artists that worked on this and you know the, the, my comic shop has no it's the same studio that put out uh, captain america with jack um what do you call it jack kirby and joe simon and whatnot and we ended up paying oh yeah price tag on this we ended up paying 25 dollars and 25 cents canadian for this right you should distribute this uh you know how much each shipping was per there's 13 books uh, 60 dollars total shipping so shipping per book ended up being shipping and tax per book ended up being uh 13 ended up being five dollars a pop or something right that was that would have been the added cost that per comic came out right i've been increasing my supply of romance golden age romance comics okay actually show the wind is whipping out there nice and cozy nice and cozy inside it's cold outside it's very cold outside i was outside earlier today the worst crime pays over half a naked vampire sucking the blood off for a recent divorce signal significant other, significant other uh, while hanging a bat of crush to a policeman snorting and trying to make it happen and a severed head and a severed head experience a brush off a brush off let me show you the next one let me show you the next one oh this one's cgc the next one on my list is a cgc which cgc is it no not this one it's this one this one ooh, 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 ooh. this one this one the cost was 86 dollars canadian okay 86 dollars canadian it's a romance comic golden age romance comics do i set aside birdie here for sure another cool golden age edition yeah i'm loving adding these romance golden age romance comics to my collection absolutely loving it right and yeah birdie here i i read comics for sure i read comics almost on a daily basis i have comics laid out in different places sometimes you know before bed uh, just laying around i need a break um let's say every second day i read no every day i almost read a little bit one page two pages right and then sometimes i sit down and read long like one or two comics or a graphic novel and of course we do the readings crack i've been trying to do to do that with ebay purchases quick note on the backing board of when i bought it and how much including shipping the books got yeah <laughs> you lose track right take a look at this true love problems and advice illustrated number five harvey publications came out in 1950. do you want to see the grade on this 9.0 9.0 golden age romance comic from 1950. <laughs> sweet, sweet, very nice. Whoop, yeah. I missed out on a bid of another one that was a 9.2. That one went for 160 or 180 dollars, right? I was happy to get this. 
I was happy to get this, right? 80 whatever. What was it? $85. This was a great deal. $86 Canadian. Okay. $86 Canadian. And it's, uh, let me give you the link. It's this one. Okay. In the chat. 9.0 and 9.0 for romance comic don't ever touch that paper and this is story stories and art by lee ellis and bob powell okay and there is there's four in the cgc's database one of them was graded a 9.2 two are a 9.0 and one is 8.5 that's it they only got four listed in their database right nice haul goodbye very happy to add this to a graded book i guess right true love stories look at the artwork no this guy uh, it's just a packaging that the cgc books come in i was a wallflower the cowboy and the co-ed i love the coward co coward coward <laughs> what every girl should know what every girl should know look at that what every girl should know looking good chicho and Velaz. okay that's our cgc there Put these guys here so let's do the next one let me close off this one the next one. Oh, this one this one if you guys remember the comic book hauls from about a month ago about a month ago this is an independent comic book series that came out in mid 1980s okay about a couple of months ago we bought it's only four issues and we bought issue number two three and four and this is issue number one the complete Cheech, Cheech Wizard, Volume Two, Number One. So we got a complete run. <laughs> the 1950s were so innocent, but they weren't, right? So we got Volume One of the Complete Cheech Wizard. Right? Nice. So now we have one, two, three, and four, right? And I ended up paying fair value for this, right? It is not a bad deal. We ended up paying $15.50 Canadian for this. And let me give you guys the link in the chat so you know what it is. Crack. Oh, nice. Wagen Boat. Yeah. Heck of an artist, heck of an artist, and that's the main artist for this, right? Uh, by Vaughan Frederick Bode. Okay, and it's uh, he graded this. What did he grade this? He graded this as very fine near mint, so we're talking 9.0, right? And as rip off press, and as as far as indies go, uh, these are sought after collectible, all right? Fun more adult oriented and uh, from what crack told us the the main character here one of the characters here is the one that was featured in the comic uh, in the animated uh, movie wizards right so fantastic fantastic yeah elder god super cool super cool check this out this one we uh i i don't know this Oh no, this isn't the one we're gonna get. I'm gonna show you this one. Oh, this one, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one. Nice. This is. Let me hold this up and read it for you guys. Let me make sure I should hold it up. The very popular ripoff press. The very ever popular ripoff press. 
this is doll man number 21 doll man number 21 awesome will eisner created doll man by the way right so it's a will eisner uh, creation crack not featured but i think definitely influenced by influenced by the from the wizard okay cool haha <laughs> sick heart <laughs> so doll man number 21 wait with a matrix matrix oh no i don't think it's matrix connection elder god this is doll man number 21 1949 quality comics and it's got a story with torchy in it from bill ward right where's my doll man oh i don't even have doll man opened up here i should have so it's got a bill ward torchy story right lingerie torchy story that's what the guy's calling it and this is graded at 3.0 okay uh i would have graded this higher i would have graded this higher and we ended up paying 27 26 for this okay canadian of course all the prices are canadian okay 27 26 and build ward torchy story solves the problem of poison piston look at that there's a burn on this ah this is the reason that's right when i looked at this this is the reason why it was graded at 3.0 check it out there's a i'm assuming that's like a cigarette burn should we take a look at it let's take a look at it i just saw a video posted by uh bodhi's son where he's uh flopping through his dad's get flipping through his glass incredible really dirt flag flipping right flipping yeah that's cool like just imagine being surrounded by that art yeah his son still does work on have you oh does he you know doll my elder god cool should we take a look at torchy too yeah the burn goes through so yeah for sure graded at three it goes through check this out so here's the burn chicho can look through the eye right i don't know if you can see it <laughs> right right there right and it goes through the first page but look at that artwork right look at that artwork beautiful and doll band was uh, the first original uh what do you call it shrinking superhero all right beautiful artwork gonna have to cash the rest later okay crack my daughter just got home from school sweet looking stuff so far awesome awesome say hello to the family ah thanks the disillusioned you love all my plants yeah we do as well our plants are bring us a lot of joy man oh man here's another splash page another story take a look awesome if that burn was in there this would be mid-grade easy owner must have been a movie fan why why do you say let's see the torchy torchy lingerie with bill ward beautiful artwork beautiful artwork fantastic oh snap oh beautiful oh wow man very nice wow bill ward and there's another artist that i wow there's a few artists check this out This local seller was selling some billboard uh, original art, but they were way they were going for way more than I could afford. It was like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars. Right. Beautiful.
before she crashes the car. Nice buy. Nice buy. Happy to have, happy to have. Happy to have, happy to have. So, let's put this. And he's put all of these in Mylar as well. So that's great. Let's see the next book. Let's see the next book. Let's see the next book. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. This one. Dixie Dugan, number nine. We ended up paying uh, 1750 Canadian for this. And it's, uh, let me put this here so you see it. Dixie Dugan. Number nine, okay, and it's 1948 publication enterprises, okay, and it's graded at 5.5. He's graded at 5.5, and he's he's not a bad grader actually. Uh, I agree with most of the grades that we've bought books from, right? Here's Dixie Dugan, and we paid. As far as I'm concerned, fair value for this, but pretty good price. 1750 Canadian is pretty damn good. And Dixie Dugan was sort of a uh, newspaper strip uh, that turned into a comic book. And it was created by, I forget who the person was. Um, I looked this up. I'm not, I wasn't too familiar with it. Okay. I just seen it around. So glad to have this. Graded 5.5, so that's good complete nice cute artwork right cool 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 <laughs> you're familiar with this one I, I I've only seen it I didn't I don't that's the first issue of uh, Dixie Dubin that I have in my collection check out this one <laughs> okay let me close this one this one i'm gonna link it up in the chat first okay take a look this is daring adventures right that's what the title says daring adventures but if you're looking for it it's actually approved comics okay approved comics number 54 from st john publication and this is a low grade uh, one this was graded i think graded 2.5 or 3. he graded a two so he graded this a two covered detached tears a manufacturer uh with one staple spine split uh top of comic piece missing top of spine so he goes through the whole thing of you know it's a grade two right so approved comics number six or darling adventures number six the reason that this is uh and i paid uh, we got this at a steal this 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 was an amazing deal this was an amazing deal matt baker cover matt baker cover okay should be a matt baker cover right or is it Matt Baker last story? I think it's Matt. It should be Matt Baker cover. Doop. Let me go into the CGC. There's only like three graded on CGC's database, and Matt Baker cover. Yeah. The story, the uh, the writing is done by different people. The artwork and stuff. I believe the cover is only Matt Baker, and this is Robin Hood's son. Yeah. It's not Robin Hood. It's Robert Hood's Robin Hood's son somewhere son of robin hood okay fantastic and it was a steal we got this as a, as a crazy good price crazy good price <laughs> it's hard to see here this is a better way of looking at it fun and gang, don't forget, 
Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Very much like Robin Hood trying to hold power accountable. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Right. He's our contemporary Robin Hood in terms of information, right? He steals from his dad to give to the son, <laughs> illusionist says. Baker is hot at the moment. Some books more than us, some books more than others. Getting a Matt Baker cover from 1954 for $10 Canadian. A steal, a steal. Not related to this haul, Nikki says. Uh, do you happen to own any early Phantom comics? I grew up on the series, mostly read stuff from the uh, 1980s. I do have some Phantom uh, from 60s. I do have some gold, gold, uh, uh, gold key. I believe that's some Phantom. So I have some of those, and I have some of the 80s and 90s. I don't think I have anything before that. Oh. Robin, Elder God, Robin has no son. It's propaganda. <laughs> Uh, if he has sons, they're illegitimate. <laughs> okay, the next CGC book. The next CGC book. This was a good deal. This was a good deal. Okay, okay, let me let me hold this up so you guys see. Are you a fan of Zav? Oh yeah, Zav comic or Robert Crumb? Oh yeah, I have some Robert Crumb and I have some. I don't have a complete Zav comic collection. I have some of them. I have some of them. Gold key, you say? Nice. Yeah, Nikki, check this out. This is Two Gun Kid. Let me take it out of the bag. Two Gun Kid from nineteen fifty four. Joel Manley cover, George Tusca art, CGC graded at 5.0. 5.0. We ended up paying $88.66 for this Canadian. Okay, This was a great deal. This was a great deal. I'm gonna link this up in the description for you guys so you know what the info is it's going to my comic shop I have links to other stuff too but uh, the contents for this Stanley editing and this is Atlas comics uh, which is basically Marvel that what Marvel used to be right cover is Fred Kedda Kidda okay uh, there's lots of art with uh, Fred Kidda and uh, Joe Manley uh, cover as well uh, Joe Manley did the cover this thing uh, so my comic shop their data might be a little wrong I would go with the CGC uh, description and they only have five graded and this is uh, the there's two graded at seven and the next one is this one graded at five Okay, Joe Manley cover George Tusca Atlas Comics 1954. This was a great deal, literally. This was a fantastic deal. Okay, awesome, beautiful cover. Look at that, the fastest gun in the wild west. beautiful back nice happy to have this happy to have this and there's a price tag here that says $120 US uh, we ended up getting it for like $90 Canadian so good deal good deal about 75 bucks US I guess interesting haul a bit of random though like you threw darts into a comic shop <laughs> yeah 
<laughs> because he had a whole bunch of stuff I was bidding on and I was trying to make my money go a long way so I, I was doing Hail Mary's hoping to get some comics right check out this one this is four issues I'm getting close to completing this run I'm getting close to completing this run all-star Western number two number three number seven and number nine all of them mid high grade right. four comic books i'll show you the covers individually each okay yeah for sure elder god it's a good way to do go shopping <laughs> it's a good way to do bids in right we ended up paying 51 dollars and 30 cents for this okay the Western comics, um, All Star Western number two is graded at seven, number three at eight, number seven is seven point five, and number nine is seven point five as well. And number two, let me just give the link in the in the chat. And number two is the first appearance of, of El Diablo. Okay, the original El Diablo. Hey Chicho, I always watch your YouTube uh, YouTube videos because in, in Twitch you. Uh, stream at 720 and says so I'm from Iran and as you're aware of our internet yeah yeah unfortunately I would I wish I could stream higher so it wouldn't get lagged but I think that's about it that's as high as we can go and by the way uh, you might want to start following us on either on bit and rumble as well because there's going to be a lot of videos that I'm not going to upload to YouTube anymore we're getting nuked on YouTube for uploading anything related to censorship and stuff like that which I've loaded up like minimal like two-minute political little commentary and YouTube is killing us for it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop uploading anything other than Julian Assange on there regarding politics and if you're from Iran I think you like politics right this is number two this cover is sick all the covers oh yeah the covers let me tell you who the covers are for these some of these right the cover um, cover by neil adams <laughs> right cover art by neil adams very very sweet very very sweet i don't mean higher 420 is awesome 480 is awesome okay good neil adams cover right fantastic great deal uh, we got a really good deal on this okay this one alone uh fetches around 40 bucks or something at this grade great cover so that's number three oh sorry that's number two this is neil adams cover as well number three look at the cover on this beautiful beautiful I've been hanged once you'll never take me again el diablo and el diablo is a character that a sort of a witch doctor this guy witch doctor um he's on the verge of death and a witch doctor does his thing and gets him possessed by a minor demon and the demon's the um vengeance spirit of vengeance demon right el diablo and out low beautiful cover right. neil adams that i would say it's some of his best during this period oh yeah and the date for these these are 1970 i believe right yeah 1970 okay so neil adams cover as well these two are not neil adams cover number seven uh ch -ch 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 -ch. And Gil Kane did some of the artwork in these uh, number two and three. Tony, the Zanga, Robert, got, like there's a whole bunch of people that have worked on this. Okay, this is number seven, and it's mainly a reprint. Okay, and different artists did the work on this. I believe it's mostly a reprint. Fantastic. Western and romance comics. Very cool covers. 
Yeah, this one's fantastic. And I have All Star Western number 10 and number 11. Number 10 is the first appearance of Jonah Hex, and number 11 is the first cover appearance of Jonah Hex. My number 10 is pretty low quality, but low grade, but uh, high quality comic, but low grade. Take a look at this. This, okay, I'm gonna take this out of the Mylar. Uh, show you guys the cover without the glare. The flying horse issue. <laughs> oh, the only quality is available is 720 for you in Iran. Superb. Yeah, we can't go lower than 720 just because. Beautiful cover. Who did the cover for this? The cover for this, let me just uh, find out the cover for this. This is number nine, uh, giant size, all reprint issue. So this is all reprint issue, uh, number nine. And the cover for this is Tony Dezunga. Uh, De De Tony Dezunga. Take a look. Beautiful cover. Look at the arrows in the guy's back. He's already done for. Beautiful. There's only 11 comics in the series, All-Star Western. Uh, I think we're, I have about seven of them now. So I need three more. I need number one for sure. I need number one. Cheryl, I'll have to run. Take care. Bye, Cheryl. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm going through these slow mo. Check out this one. This one is Canadian edition of Crime Does Not Pay number 69. And we got this at a great deal. Let me link this up in the chat. Actually, she shows some of your streams have options to change settings, but not today. Not today. Oh, really? Case man, unless you are a partner, which does not allow your viewers to change the quality for source. Oh, so if you're not subbed. Oh, so if I'm a partner, then people can change. Oh, this should make that available for us too. They should make that available for us as well this one was let me hold this up so you see it okay let me make sure i got it so this is crime does not pay number 69 ended up paying 38 dollars canadian for this bureau cover okay and this is the Canadian edition and you know this is the Canadian edition because the US edition the guy wearing the shirt is blue and the guy here on the tracks is green the pants is green so the coloring is different on it okay so the coloring of the image is different and uh, this was graded he graded this thing as 5.0 and we paid $38 Canadian for it we got this at a great price reading list oh my god <laughs> nice we got this at a great price please do it if it's available for you i, do, I don't think it's available for me brother transcoding is uh, given out if the traffic is low uh gang let me know if there's if i can change the setting on twitch where i can make it optional for people to watch at whatever level they want uh, let me know how to do that and I'll do that and if I remember I'll do it and uh, uh, Muhammad uh, if you remember send if you're on our discord send me a reminder on discord and I'll look into it okay and I'll look into it elder God you want this in the reading list oh what year is this this is golden age again this is uh, this came out in 1948 1948 
and grade it at 5.0 like the link i provided you they're selling a canadian edition a 6.5 for 220 us we paid 38 dollars canadian so i mean can't mess with that deal Uh, case man yeah if the overall traffic for twitch is low then non-partners get transcoding but at peak times like now it is a, it, it isn't available ah okay so sorry Mahmoud. Uh, doesn't look like we can do it maybe not during non-peak time it's possible it depends on the equipment you're using chicho okay the alternative is to tell all your friends about chicho and make make this channel super popular yeah do it <laughs> in case that sense nice cover i have a few crime does not pay i'm collecting this on a regular basis if i can get my hands on it right if i can get my hands on it let me tell you what the next one is check out this one this one is Ralph Kiner. Check this. Ah, oh, there's two of them here that I didn't open up the browser for. Oh no, I did. Ralph Kiner, Home Run King. And this says famous. Check this out. It's got famous athletes here. Number four. Ralph Kiner, number four, but it's not listed as number four. I think this is the only comic there is of it. Okay. And we ended up paying 21 dollars canadian for this and it's graded at 1.8 so good minus right um and it came out in 1950 and ralph kiner was uh he was well known in baseball uh, i don't know my baseball too much i just like collecting some sports stuff if i can get it uh, some of the old school golden age stuff especially baseball because that was like the golden age of baseball really like uh, from what i understand and i believe he just uh, read up on him he played for like 10 years he had a great record and became an announcer and he worked in the baseball industry for a long time and he's supposed to be a really nice guy so i wanted to get his comic or we ended up getting his comic for 21 dollars, which is a great deal which is a great deal happy to have this okay at the last second someone kicked it up otherwise we only put up paid ten dollars for it it's like cricket in a different way <laughs> baseball is <laughs> okay baseball is religion to me is it case man no way it's fun it's fun if you're playing watching you know watching is not interesting to me and here's the link to info on it literally wearing a tampa bay he's at right now case man says <laughs> nice check out this one check out this one we got a great deal on this one we got this one for a steal for a steal crime comics t-man number three t-man number three normally people people that like math and spreadsheets love baseball yeah it's all stats it's a stats game right if i was into hardcore gambling and statistics i would i would be on the books playing playing the markets uh like betting on baseball right so this is team man number three graded at 4.0 okay and this is reed crandall did the covers for this okay and one of the reasons i wanted this oh yeah by the way we got this for ten dollars ten dollars insanity ten dollars ten dollars right canadian graded four right check this out death trap in iran i really want my bid for this was a lot higher a lot higher a pulsating Pete Trask's thriller, worldwide crime buster. What great graded at uh, was it graded at four? Yeah, graded at four point zero. Okay, 
it, it's it's a steal like ten dollars canadian like we're talking 750 seven dollars no uh eight dollars us right seven fifty eight dollars us death trap in iran <laughs> So this is really my bid for this was a lot higher i wanted this i wanted this comic bad right this comic has a history and check check this out wow man you're gonna appreciate this check this out this is this is the headgear that they've drawn for people in iran <laughs> i don't know like during that period that iranians because when i was a kid i didn't see anybody wearing this kind of headgear man in iran um, do you read all of them they're like mullahs they're like, they're like they're like i don't know what they're like right funny funny check out the girl it's a great cover it's a great cover very nice great deal turkey yeah it's more turkey right awesome 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 here's another book propaganda part two yeah propaganda part two this is the last book okay this is what i started all the buys with i ended up getting this one wedding bells number 19 wedding bells number 19 and this is matt baker did the artwork on the last story okay quality publications 1956 so it's silver age okay it's a silver age of comics and here's a link uh going to another website as well just giving you guys some of the info cover conversation so the last story on this the last page story on this is matt baker he did the pencils for this okay and i read one uh, article i came across i couldn't find it again for some reason that the person writing it said the matt B matt baker did the pencils for it but someone else did the inking and they didn't do too good of a job on inking but i don't know it's matt baker artwork so i'm okay with it it's golden age um romance so i'm okay with that right and we ended up paying this was expensive 41 dollars and 41 cents and he's graded it at 5.0 okay wedding bells wedding bells number 19. it's the what makes something gold and silver is the date right it's just broken up into different different times from 1938 which is basically action comics number one all the way to 1950 uh, 55 is considered the golden age of comics 50 55 halfway through this this see this sticky sticker here at the beginning of at mid 1955 possibly 1956 basically in general they started putting comic code stickers on it which is basically censorship kicking into comic books where they said you couldn't do a lot of things you couldn't you can talk about werewolves and you can show severed heads and you have to be you can't you can't be risque with your covers and stuff like this right so they brought in serious censorship in comic books because people were saying comic books were polluting children's minds right i have a video out there reading the comic code saying what they couldn't do in comics if they wanted to publish in this format right so at the beginning of when the comic code kicked in they call that the silver age and that goes all the way to 1968 69 and then beginning of 1970 basically up to 1985 they call that the copper age okay and then the bronze age and then you're into the modern age so it's just a time period okay a simple hat place can influence the young of a country god the asian new year good sir oh asian new year happy asian new year what do you think about the sandman neil gaiman i'm reading it now fantastic 
very good we've done the reading mama we did the reading for sandman number eight first appearance of death i have a video out there we have a video out there reading it right sandman is an absolute classic must read i still haven't finished the series yet i'm gonna read the whole thing from beginning again <laughs> right so gang a huge expensive comic book haul. uh 470 dollars uh 490 dollars for the books plus 60 dollars for shipping and tax so f no 470 dollars for the books plus 70 dollars for ship uh, uh 60 dollars for shipping and tax total cost of this comic book haul 530 dollars and we got a great deal on some of these a steal on some of these really right like the romance comic this comic alone graded at 9.0 that we ended up paying 80 something 82 dollars for it or something like that um i wouldn't sell it for not even close to what i wanted for it would have i wouldn't sell it per period personally but uh we got a great deal we got a great deal uh platinum age is pre uh 19 uh 1938 is pre the superhero dawn of comic books really pre superman so there is a platinum age but it's i believe anyway uh which is pre golden age and it starts from 18 18 something with the yellow kid so yellow kid sort of they consider that to be the birth of comic book with bubble writing format all the way to 1938 i think that's called the platinum age yeah 530 dollars canadian total in all in uh we're not going to do a comic book haul for a <laughs> for a while <laughs> well my excuse man uh on volume 16 is really good it's fantastic mom i'm glad you're enjoying sad man there there would be i can honestly tell you just knowing the iranian mindset there would be a lot of people that would love it in iran i wish uh sandman was more better known i don't know how well actually it's known i shouldn't be speaking on that level but it's really well known here uh it should be extremely well known around the world newspaper each <laughs> other god gang that's our comic book haul i hope you enjoyed i hope you enjoyed uh well worth picking these up took me a month to get them from the seller do you know mana miss uh tani Mrs. Tani, that Manan, Mrs. Tani, I, the name doesn't ring a bell, Muhammad. Oh, my pleasure, Nikki. My pleasure, Nikki. And gang, salute. I didn't bring any uh, liqueur or anything, just tea. I hope you're having a fantastic day. It's going to take me a few days to upload the comic book stuff that we have. Uh, that we're loading up i'm going to start loading those up on tomorrow so we got three comic book hauls and two readings to load up i'm probably going to set up the next set of streams i'm going to announce it probably in about two or three days uh just for me to get caught up in everything and then we'll do another set of streams and there's a couple of things i want to think about there's a spreadsheet that i want to make so i'm going to try to get some stuff done in the background if i have the time and that'll dictate what it is that we're going to do okay he's a uh, char characterist you should check his work mostly political uh muhammad link it up in our discord brother either in art or politics preferably art that way we can check it out or comic books folder if you're on discord if not uh, message me and i'll look it up just for me to remember oh god i'm holding back my movie watching to be fresh any news on uh, next batch of stream next batch of streams two or three days I'm, i i'm two movies away from finishing the movies i haven't even gone into the music yet other than big pun uh, so i'm way behind on stuff but the movies uh two movies for me and i've seen both movies but i need to watch two more movies to be able to set up a movie stream and i think i'm going to try to slip it in in the next set so in the next set i think we're going to do a movie review and pick new movies 
but let's see where we are i, I want to create a work on creating a spreadsheet for an asmr math video linked up with the comic books i want to take the first comic book haul that we did create a spreadsheet and open the platform with how much we paid for them uh, price them out and then find the new prices we'll see how far i get with that right uh Hey, I made it. Ah, Yeti Punk, we're about to end the stream, brother. We're about to end the stream. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org or check out some of the information we're sharing on our playlist. Oh, no, I know, Yeti. Gang, if you want to know what this is all about, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to support this work, if you want to keep on top of what it is that we are doing, follow us through Patreon. I don't put anything behind way of paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share, share, alike. After a while, if you think this work deserves your support, and if you do have the means, the funds to do it, Doing it through Patreon is a great way to make sure we continue to do what it is that we are doing. Lark Bark, Free Assange, Pardon Edward Stone, and Support Chelsea Manning. 100% Lark Bark. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash chicho live, C H Y C H O L I B E. If you want to participate in these discussions in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Twitch, thank you very much for the support, gang. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing information and mods. Thank you for taking care of business watch biden carefully <laughs> yeah brother <laughs> emily have, you, have a good one you all ha ah, you too emily you too they are all heroes lark bark says thank you Chicho. my pleasure emily great stream great stream fun fun night case man good night i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines lovk gap parlor when it comes back online on twitter and we do have a discord page where you can share information Good night, Muhammad. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime you want. In the chat, type in exclamation mark social. All the links will pop up, including the link to our Discord page. Nikki Hickey, good day, good day. As usual, thank you so much, Lark Bark. My pleasure, brother. My pleasure, brother. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O as podcast, and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. Randall, thank you for this. My pleasure, Randall. Thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it very much. Elder God, as with everything else, it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts. Indeed. You need the Nujabas beats as a sign off. I wish Nikki Hickey uh, copyright stuff doesn't allow it, right? They zap it, even if like five seconds. Oh, their video. We can't allow that, right? I'm pretty sure if Nujabaz was alive, he'd be cool with it. But the corporations that own the copyrights, they, they won't permit it, right? Uh, Lonely Piggy, thanks, Chicho. Enjoying your evening, brother. You too, brother. You too. And gang, we will be uploading this video, this live stream to Sensor 2, BitChute, and Rumble. And we don't have enough points, uh, coins on Odyssey to do it yet, but once the coins start building up there, we'll load up as many as we can. And if you want to support this work on those platforms, you can share, like, comment, uh, subscribe. And if you're on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership. And there's a button there. And there's a handful of you that are supporting this work through YouTube membership. Thank you very much for the support. Nikki, my girls, I can make a beat for you, bro. Peace. <laughs> so, Nikki, gang. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, see you guys in Discord. I'll be loading up the comic book stuff in the next uh, few days and announce the next stream. Probably two, three days. Bye, everyone. The Great Charles Bureau. Crime does not pay.